Hallo, hallo, ik is alweer terug, deel 3. Um, ik kon niet die wacht nie. Oké okay, guys, switching over to English again. Um, ja, yeah, so, so the last two sessions was really about my story, what happened, um, how I lived my life, how that changed, or what made me change. Um, to, to ask for something, to long for something more meaningful. Um, and then part of that second session was around the second life-changing moment that happened in my life um, was my divorce. I was married for 10 years to a wonderful person. Um, I don't want to get um, into too much detail um, about the marriage. Um, I sh unfortunately, due to various circumstances, that marriage did not work out the way um, I int or we intended to. You know, you don't um, stand in front of your, or in my case, sit uh, in front of your wife or your husband the day of marriage that you think, oh my word, this is not going to work out. Or, you know, I'm here and we will see if it works out. If it doesn't work out, then, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll make a plan. Um, but unfortunately, that didn't work out. Um, and I had to go through so many deep thinking stories the past two years about trying to figure out after all the good intentions, after all the good and wonderful um, ideas and thoughts I had about this sacred um, event and the relationship that you want to share with somebody for the rest of your life, why that didn't work out. I don't have all the answers to be honest with you, but all I know is that God's forgiven me um, for that divorce that I asked for, he has um, he has accepted the fact that um, I've reached out to him to help me and to build a future again, uh, regardless of what happened in my life. So my message today, um, because of that, is I really want to encourage. People that are in a relationship, about to get married, or that are in a marriage, and even if things aren't go are going well, I want to encourage people for the ones that it seems that there's no hope for. I just want to ask you, out of the bottom of my heart, you reach out to God together, because God is a God of unity, and once you become married, you know you become one. So I just want to make sure that we understand that concept. And once you are so strong in unity, then the devil can't divide you. So I want to encourage you to stay together, pray together, um, spend some time in the Word together, and just make sure that you invest in your marriage on a daily basis, that you become fit for Jesus and fit for one another. If you want to do a marathon, you don't start, wake up the morning of the event and just pitch up at the starting line and expect to win or expect to run a, a personal best. It is a process. It is causing daily commitment and exercise to get to that level where you are ready to run a marathon. And you'll always get better as you practice, as you invest more time on it. So guys and girls, um, really... God wants us to have a wonderful, loving, intimate marriage and a relationship with Him. So I just want to encourage you to spend that time with Him. It is a wonderful experience. Make sure you protect your marriage. Whatever you do, focus on Him. Stay close to Him so that you don't wander off the path. And I want to encourage everybody to stay strong. In Jesus' name, Amen.